Now we're looking at something completely different. What I'm doing here is breaking up chords, arpeggiating them, and moving through a chord sequence with my left hand, and holding the same key center chord with my right hand. Let's have a look at what the left and right hand are doing, and then we'll slow the exercise down. The first thing we do is hit an A major triad on the left hand. We move to B minor, we move through to G major, and we move back to D major. We cycle through those, but you'll notice the pattern is arpeggiating each sequence. Like so. Now my right hand stays on A major, doing the same cycling. Let's slow the riff down and have a look at it. Now when you give this one some juice, a keyboard synthesizer type effect, which works really well when matched up with a chord change. Let's have a look. Now what I want you to do with this riff is practice it as much as you can over your chord changes. So once you have the basic shapes down, you can change your left and right hand to suit the songs that you're playing. Have a go at that one and we'll come back with some more.